Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Lance Corporal Sidney Dawson, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. Combined Task Force 150 finished exercise goalkeeper in the Gulf of Aden November 2nd. The exercise conducted joint training to counter human trafficking and the smuggling of weapons and drugs. CTF 150 enhances security in the maritime environment of their area of operations. Trying to make ends meet may seem difficult at times during the nation's current economic state. The Navy offers several resources to help service members with their finances, such as the Fleet and Family Support Center. Um, by visiting these resources, going to Fleet and Family Support Center, you're able to speak with someone to help you with financial planning and budgeting. And same as going to a website, you're able to look at different options and possibly gather questions that you can ask before you go to Fleet and Family Support Center. More financial support is also available at lifelines.navy.mil and militaryonesource.com. The Navy extended the deadline to participate in the Military Health Systems Questionnaire. Wounded, ill, or injured service members and their families now have until November 28th to submit their answers. Service members are asked to provide feedback concerning their experience with the care they've received. The questionnaires are available online at health.mil. TRICARE's eCare Connect service is helping DOD hospitals communicate more effectively with expectant parents and new families. The service provides important research-based health information customized to their stage of parenthood. For more on eCare Connect, go to theparentreview.com. For the Defense Media Activity Anacostia, I'm Lance Corporal Sidney Dawson.